crush the 49ers 17-3, and Clay Matthews is loving it. First, he imitates Colin Kaepernick with his signature kiss the bicep move after he sacked him. Then later, Clay talks some trash to Cap. You ain't Russell Wilson, bro. Skip. Inbounds, out of bounds. Stephen A., I must admit, this hit me the wrong way, so I'm going way out of bounds on this one, and I'll tell you why. Even though Clay Matthews said he was just having fun out there, and I do think he plays and has a lot of fun while he's playing football. I get that. But the truth is, Clay, you had your one little moment in the sun against Colin Kaepernick yesterday after he has caused you and your defense a whole lot of dark days and dark nights because he has often been the dark night against you again and again and again, especially when it mattered most. Going into yesterday, Colin Kaepernick running the football had 318 yards on 31 carries against Clay Matthews' defense. So to me, it's weak to taunt him after he has humiliated you so often before. You don't have enough cachet. You, you don't deserve to taunt him after he has run you off the field again and again, especially in the two big playoff games. Remember the one after the mm -hmm. 2012 se uh, season out at, at, at San Francisco? Colin Kaepernick went 181 yards on 16 carries for two touchdowns. Think about that. He ran you off that field. You and Aaron Rodgers, you had no chance against his legs that night. And then remember the near ice bowl playoff game in Green Bay? Mm -hmm. Colin Kaepernick ran seven times in the cold for 98 yards. He also won, went once for 42 yards. He made all the big plays in that game. He took that game over. He was the MVP of that game, not Aaron Rodgers. That was in Green Bay. So to me, he has done so much against you, Clay Matthews, and his team is so beat up. Talk about decimation and lost players. You, we, we don't have time to go through all the players they've lost Laundry on their defense. List. And by the way, Eric Mangini, your defense hung in against Aaron Rodgers, played pretty well yesterday. Kaepernick has gone south. We all know that. His offense has gone south. I, I thought they should have just lined him up yesterday in the old single wing and just snapped it to him and let him actually run the football because they mostly contained him trying to scramble out of the pocket. Way to go, Clay. But is that cause for you to taunt him, kiss your biceps, and say you ain't Russell Wilson? He, for a while, for about three years, he was way beyond Russell Wilson is what he was. So to kick him, so to speak, when he's down was out of bounds. <sighs> I cannot tell you how much I disagree with you mm -hmm. on this position. I think it's ridiculous that you think it's an out of bounds. Put on your big boy pants. This is the National Football League. Yeah, you sat up there and you had your way with Clay Matthews and the Green Bay Packers. And all the time used to flex your muscles and kiss your biceps mm -hmm. and rub it in Clay Matthews and Green Bay's face. Well, now a rare opportunity presented itself that Clay Matthews would have to reciprocate. What's the problem? It doesn't warrant Skip Bayless coming on national TV and saying he was out of bounds. I don't think so. Not when Colin Kaepernick would rub it in because he was doing it. Would, would you, you have done that? Yes. You I would? would I and you would have felt no shame I, after all even, that he had not, done to you? Not even a little bit because here's the point that I'm making to you. I'm saying to you that it's not like Colin Kaepernick was all timid and, and demure and was like, oh, my goodness, well, you know, I'm so honored to be playing against you. He used to sit there and flex his biceps and sit up there and literally flaunt it in Clay Matthew and Green Bay's defense's face. But he was doing all it in the, the back of the end zone, Well, well right? I'm saying it doesn't matter where he was okay. doing it. He was doing it, and he was doing it while he was successful. What the real story here is is how pathetic and anemic the San Francisco 49ers are, and you want an opponent like Clay Matthews to recognize the moment, be sensitive to it, and show deference and respect where it's due. Hell no. Not after you've been getting your butt whipped by this particular individual. That's why Clay Matthews said what he said, because it's not just about San Francisco being a bad team right now. It's about the flagrant regression of their quarterback. A quarterback who only completed three passes, five plus yards yesterday. A quarterback who's only completed like six of 19 passes beyond five yards this season, which is like 30 31%. A quarterback who was overthrowing one minute, underthrowing the next, missing open receivers religiously, seems to not know the offense that is being run. His quarterback coach for all of these years is still there working with them and Coach Christ, okay? But somehow, some way, 
Colin Kaepernick seems to have regressed. Mm -hmm. And dare I say, I don't know this, and I'm not trying to accuse him of anything. I do not cover the 49ers. I don't know this for a fact. But when you look at football analysts and listen to the kind of things that they say, it seems to me that when it comes to Colin Kaepernick, they are challenging how much he's actually studying in the film room, mm -hmm. regardless of what he says, because this is a highly intelligent individual that does not seem to comprehend defenses that are coming his way. So when a guy like Clay Matthews is saying, you're no Russell Wilson, maybe he's not just talking about scrambling ability. Maybe he's talking about commitment to excellence in terms of being in that film room. Maybe he's talking about not being focused on you, your brand, your endorsement deals, and everything else and what he's really alluding to is the fact that you're zeroed in locked in on being the best quarterback you can be now that may not now be that's fit. pretty deep for, for a quick comment on, on the well, football well, field well, 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 what I'm saying to yeah. you is that we don't know because they don't have the luxury mm -hmm. of really getting into it because mm -hmm. if you got into it post game then it would be incredibly inappropriate to go into that detail because you're calling out a contemporary unnecessarily to an umph degree in a particular instance where you get a sack one of six on the day you pressure Colin Kaepernick and you simply choose to point out that Colin Kaepernick is no Russell Wilson. Mm -hmm. You could be talking about other things. I don't know that to be the case. I'm not trying to claim that I do know, but I do know what I see other analysts saying on various networks. Mm -hmm. And I do know what my man Skip Bayless, who knows as much football as anybody that I know in this profession, continuously highlights and details and deciphers and dissects about Colin Kaepernick. And one of the things you sat in that very chair and questioned, you never questioned his ability you never questions his accomplishments. You have sat here with your raised eyebrow looking and saying, what is going on with this guy? Mm -hmm. This guy doesn't seem to be the same guy. Well, awesome. if you notice it, and I'm Clay Matthews, and I'm competing against you, and I have an opportunity to demoralize you and pay you back for all the times you demoralized me, I see nothing wrong with that. Okay. Zero. All right, we have two issues going on here. Okay. I, I vehemently disagree with your position on Clay Matthews, but let's leave that behind. Okay. Now to the Kaepernick bigger picture. Sure talk about going south and I have brought this up many times on the show and I appreciate what you said about my football knowledge yeah. but I, I can't remember a young quarterback who had a bigger chip on his shoulder than Colin Kaepernick had while he was starring for the four he carried him all the way to a Super Bowl came within a throw that I thought should have been passing or remember the last play to Crabtree in the Super Bowl right yeah but sometimes when things are successful for you as a professional athlete, you have a chip on your shoulder for the wrong reasons aimed at the wrong people, Okay, which is something we'll get into ha later. Ha well, and how many times yet yeah, he is fired back on Twitter again and again and again. Those are the wrong people to respond to. If you want to respond to other people, that's fine. But, mm -hmm. but in this case, he was mad at the world that really wasn't mad at him at all. He took every little tiny knick-knack criticism as into the world and felt like he had to snuff it out and fire back. And after a while, you just run out of gas, man. It just eats you alive. And I thought he let the, the outside eat him alive inside. That's what happened to him. Slowly but surely, he fought himself to death. And then he started second-guessing. They started lo losing playmakers and firepower on defense. And he got exposed. And it is going south fast for him. No question. I'm interested by what you were saying earlier. I'm not sure what you meant, but I'll, I'll, oh, I'll wait for I, that. I know Skip what he knows what I meant. I don't. Okay, I'll stay, t I'll stay mm -hmm. tuned. I'll yeah, stay, stay right tuned. here. We're almost there. <laughs> Kaepernick, of course, um, is now 1-3, and three, their team, and he had, prior to this Sunday, beat the Packers three straight times. Skip mentioned two of those playoff games. One of them, Clay Matthews, didn't play, and he was injured. Rex Ryan loses to the Giants at home yesterday, but still defends his team's effort. Is Rex emotional press conferences starting to wear thin? Don't miss that discussion after the break. What do you mean?